it's Stephanie here from Oh You're Lovely. We're making the studio like comfy and cozy because we are, well I'm in Wisconsin and it's freezing around here right now, even for just early November. It's, it's way too cold. So comfy, cozy here in the studio working on a moody boho wild type bouquet using a few different techniques that I think you guys are going to get a super big kick out of. So let's jump into the tutorial. For this tutorial, you are going to need a bunch of solo wood flowers. I'm going with a dark and moody kind of vibe. Most of these flowers that are being featured as this is being filmed were just recently introduced to our Overplus Solo Wood Flower family. Loving this newest group of flowers that we just got in. You are going to need a plethora, a bunch of greenery. This is a wild bouquet. We're going to go over the top with greenery and you want to have some greenery that has a lot of hanging and flowing and texture and all that funness. Floral Mesh. I wish I could tell you what gauge this is, but I have no idea. I bought it off of Amazon, and all the description says is Floral Mesh. It's similar to Chicken Wire, but a much thinner gauge. And then we're going to cut a little bit of it off and make it into a pocket, and I'll show you that in two minutes. The other things that you're going to need are, well, probably optional, floral tape to hold your stems together. You can also use some cable ties. One of these days, I won't have to think about it and it'll come out the right way. Clippers, hot glue maybe if you're stemming everything beforehand, which you would. I already propped everything. And I think, I think that's it. And if I forgot something, I'll tell you during the tutorial. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make a pillow of sorts, a wire cage to hold all of our greenery and all of our flowers to help create that wild formed bouquet instead of doing a hand tied bouquet. This will help with hand cramping and things like that that sometimes happens. Um, I cut, this is about 14 inches by about eight inches. I just kind of counted the little squares and they're about an inch a square. Uh, this is actually probably too big in all honesty. But we're gonna make it work. So I'm gonna actually gonna fold this over because I don't feel like trimming off the rest. And we're going to create a pocket. Watch your fingers because it's still metal. It'll poke you. It will. So I'm gonna create kind of a rounded and then I'm gonna bring it in and create a hot mess. So now we've got like this little cage egg, okay? That's what you're, like a little oval thing. And now we're gonna put a ton of greenery in it. So let's go do that. So the one greenery I absolutely love and we just got into the shop is called Ruscus. And it just, it flows. It's just the prettiest like bluish green. And I think, I think I want, to take one of these stems. So I cut it off a whole bunch. There's actually, I think there's four or five, five different sprigs that come off one of the stems. I'm gonna use that as my base. So I'm gonna just really tug this in and I'm creating now my base for this wild cascading type bouquet.
Some of the other greenery that I'm gonna be using is we have this fern that you can find in the shop. And then I've got a couple other pieces that are not available in the shop, like this is that, I never heard say it right, but doesn't it look like little, little arms? We're gonna pop some of that in there too, just to add, bring out the colors that we're working in. So we're gonna keep filling this in. You also want to get, besides all of like the hanging type greenery where it's very, um, it's very linear, it's usually really thin, you want to grab some leaves or greenery that have a little bit more of a spread to them, a little bit more, like a little bit bulkier, so that helps fill in the space with less greenery. If you're using all sorts of small little skinny long uh, leaves, it's gonna take a lot more to fill in that space. So you definitely want some other things that are gonna help cover the, um, the bouquet a little bit quicker. Um, and that's why I'm using this like Dusty Miller type of leaf. And it works really well with the color story, but it's also gonna help me fill in this bouquet. All right, so I have a couple little bits that I have like pulled off and fallen off. I'm going to wire these all up with hot glue and we'll fill in just a little bit more of that space and then we'll add the flowers. Okay, so I've already off camera strung up all the other little extra bits and we're just going to find spots to fill them in if we need extras of certain greenery to really Fill this beautiful bouquet out. Don't probably want a ton more of these because they really do, they're a showstopper, but they're gonna take away from all of the work we've done with all of the other greenery. So I'm not gonna use as many of those. I want to grab some more of this Ruscus and make sure that that is also being featured up at the top. So having individual pieces is nice to do that because it's not gonna flop over and all that fun stuff. It can stick up just a little bit to really fill in the top of this to give it even more dimension. Sticking through. Oh, I found the right one! Yay! Okay, so I think I'm feeling good about this. Now, here's the back side. So, there are some wires that are sticking through. If that's gonna bother you, like if you're worried about, so when the bride is holding it, this is how it's going to, to flow. It's definitely gonna be across there, maybe up, up a little bit across there. Now, if 
Now, if they are gonna do a side hold, like if you have planned that they want to cradle the bouquet, you need to keep that in mind so that you then make sure that this is filled in a little bit more here and not have to worry as much maybe about on the underneath belly of it. So it's just gonna depend on that. Those are conversations to have or decide while you're making the bouquet how you want to hold this. I'm feeling good about this though. We are gonna put maybe just a few flowers in here or we might put just a few more leaves just at the, like right here. Like we'll put just a couple more maybe of, I'll see if I got one more fern and we'll put a fern right there to kind of wrap that up, cover that up and clean it up just a little bit. Otherwise what you can do is grab a cable tie. I am going to take my cable tie and I'm gonna go very high up on this to really hold everything in place. Because some of my stems were a little bit shorter. I usually try to make sure all my stems are really long for this type of style so that I don't have to worry about it. But now this is nice and tight. We'll trim all this up later. Don't worry about that at the moment. This is just to give our hands a little bit of a break. And now we're gonna add in the flowers. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Okay, so there's a fair amount of larger flowers in this particular like scheme that I grabbed. Can you guys see how pretty is this? So this was a lot of fun to, to paint and create. And it's the perfect flower for those like super boho style bouquets. Just so excited about this one. I personally do not like to put a ton of flowers, like have them hang into the hanging part of the greenery. I like to let the greenery just kind of hang and not have the flowers. If you want to have the flowers kind of going down in there, you can definitely do that. And with it being wires, you can manipulate it and have it kind of hang so that it goes down further around the bouquet if that's what you're going for. That's not what I want for this particular bouquet, but it is something absolutely doable when using Sola flowers and the floral wires to get the look that you want for that kind of style bouquet. that one so when they're looking down they've got this gorgeous bouquet to look at themselves as well as for everybody else to see too oh I'm loving this it's so cold right now so I walked away I'm coming back I feel like right here we need a pop of color because there's a lot of cream flowers right there. There we go. We have a crazy wild bouquet and this stem is massive. So now I'm going to trim down a whole bunch of this and we're going to, I think I'm going to get my glue gun going. I think we're going to trim this off with twine. It just, 
There's something about it that's super pretty. So let's get to doing that. All right, my glue gun is heating up so that we can start putting it on the twine. So right now, we are just going to trim. All right, so holding this all together, I redid my um, zip tie, cable tie. I went above the one I had before, tightened it really, really tight, actually with the help of my pliers, and then I cut off the, the first one. So we have just one of those. I have it up high enough that the hand most likely is not going to go up. It's like as high as I could up into that wire cage as possible so that um, most likely, because there's like a little nub, most likely your, hands, your hand is not going to grab a hold of that, but if it were, we're gonna, that's why we're gonna put that twine up there to kind of help alleviate any kind of bumping of that and hitting your finger with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of glue up here. We're gonna to start the twine higher than where my cable tie, uh, zip tie is. I'm gonna go down. I'm actually gonna stop right around here, I think. We have so many wires in here that I feel like they look a little bit more like greenery stems, so I'm gonna leave a little bit poking through this time. Um, so I'm gonna go down to about, right around actually where my hand is, go back then up with the twine and finish that off. Boho, slightly cascading, kind of wild, definitely wild, not kind of, full on wild bouquet. You can make this as long or as short as you want. You could even not have all the hanging parts or you could have all the hanging on the side. I did in the middle of the tutorial talk about like seeing how you want it, like how the bride or you, if you are the bride, want to hold your bouquet throughout the ceremony. Um, this is definitely no longer a hug it, got, it just ate my shirt. Hug it on, like, cradle it. Um, it's just way too big on this part of it. So again, sometimes, like, knowing how they want to hold the bouquet, that matters. This is definitely a front-facing hold it with two hands or one hand. This isn't, it's, it's big, but it's not big, it's not too big that you can't hold it with just one hand. Um, and with the wired, Cage, it does help with lightening up your hand holding into all of those um, stems as you're bringing this all together since this this is a pretty this is a pretty heavy flower and greenery piece oh this ruscus I cannot get over it I love it so much so the other thing too is a lot of these flowers that are uh, featured in this bouquet are brand new to our shop as this video goes live so we've got the Protea, hopefully I said that right. I'm working on the proper pronunciation of a lot of these flowers. This is the Spider Mom, which is actually, depending on how you dye it, which we'll do an updated um, dyeing video coming up with some of the new flowers because they change shapes pretty easily. Um, we've got Cornelia is in here. 
This is Diego, which is a similar to our Frida flower. We've got a mature peony somewhere in here. Here she is, the mature peony. Just lots of new style flowers that we're absolutely excited about. So I hope you love this tutorial. If you have any questions, like always, make sure to pop them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as possible. And to find out about all of the new flowers, along with the 100 plus solo style flowers we carry in the shop, go to oyourlovely.com. And to be notified whenever a new video goes up, make sure to subscribe and to ring that bell. Until next time, this is Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.